Hey hey guys, here we are in a virtual quest for love with the dating game Star Days. This is a demo. Don't think the game's actually finished yet, but here we go, see if I can find some virtual romance. Wish me luck. Some people say that people become stars when they die. If that was true, I guess they could shine on and watch over everybody from the sky. But many light years would separate them from everyone else. Wouldn't they be lonely? Hi! What's your name? Well, my game name is Judo. Judo? That's a funny name. I guess. Well, mine's funnier. It's Lee. Okay, this guy seems a bit of a psycho. Nice to meet you. I'm Lee. Oh. Okay. What's your star sign, Judo? Huh? Bit personal, bit nosy. My mum told me about them. They have something to do with birthdays. Um, yeah. But here, just pick a sign from this book. Um, I'm Aquarius. That's that one. Oh, that's Aquarius. Let's see. Be careful when you're around an Aquarius. They're unpredictable and moody. Yeah, sounds about right. Sounds legit. Nuh uh, I'm, I'm not like that. But books are never wrong. Ever. You're stupid. Yeah, pretty much. Wait. Even though it started off rough, the friendship between Lee and I only grew since then. Hey. Hi. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Will we have him go through puberty now? Your hair. Donated it. I think it was getting too long anyway. My head feels a lot lighter. Ha ha ha. You looked good with long hair. I'll grow it out again. I guess it looks kind of cute actually. It fits your face. You're just saying that because you don't want to offend me. Oh, come on. But change usually isn't so bad. The world needs it every once in a while. By the way, you don't have to visit me every day, you know. But you'll get lonely. I won't. I'll be fine, really. I'll get lonely. This is all sad. <sighs> If I die, I hope I become a star. Oh wow, it's getting intense. Lily, you're not going to die. If I become a star, I could watch over you and everyone from the heavens. And when you get lonely, just look at the night sky. You'll see me. Not with all the light pollution. Oh, right. But does that matter? You don't have to see me, right? It's not about seeing each other, it's about being there for each other. Um, okay. I hope I don't die, Judo. I already told you you're not going to die. Yeah, you're right. I can't wait to get back to school. I'm even looking forward to all the homework and studying, it's weird. Well, you're a weird guy. <laughs> So, I just have a paper due tomorrow, but I wanted to check up on you. So sorry. Oh, oh, no, it's fine. Thanks for coming to visit. I'll be back tomorrow. Wait. Yeah? What? <laughs> I can tell you tomorrow. Huh? Tell me now. 
No, I'll tell you tomorrow. Oh, come on. See you tomorrow. <sighs> okay, pretty intense start. When I saw your face that day, I knew that it was goodbye. Lee? Were you sleeping? Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. What's wrong? Nothing. Just spit it out. If you swallow too many things that bother you, you'll get sick. You'll get sick like me. Happy birthday, Judo. That's for you. Sorry we can do something more fun. We'll have to do something fun for your birthday. Yeah. Lee? I thought that I was already mentally prepared so that I wouldn't cry. My head hurts. I should really go home. Huh. God, why do I still feel like crying? R right, wait! Come on! Huh? Whoa, a person! Who is this guy? Nice to meet you, I'm Rai! And this is Quoto! Rai, what are you doing? Um, hi? What's with these gurus? And you are? Judo. So... Where are you guys from? Oh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Huh? Right, shh. Uh, um, we really should be on our way now. G good day to you. We just got here. We just had to stop for maintenance. <coughs> so, we can still check this place out. If we're not back in time, you'll leave about us. Mac would never do that. Hey, where are you going? Home? Can we come with? Right. I need some time to myself, actually. Somebody really close to me just died, okay? So leave me alone. Is that asking for too much? No. Actually, you're not asking for enough. What? Right. What, what are you... Come on, this is too perfect. Huh? Oh, no. We can't. We just can't. You know, this way. Right. I, I, what? Maintenance complete. We're ready for takeoff. Huh, a new face. It's all on Rai. I have nothing to do with this. You, you, you guys are aliens? A aliens? Where? Do you know, this is Magazine. We all call him Mag, but he's the captain. Hi, do you know. Yeah, so somebody close to her just passed away. She can come along, right? Does she want to? See? He doesn't even bother to ask. Why did you even listen to him? Where are you guys going? 
to the constellations. It's where all the deceased people go. If you pay a price, you'll be able to bring a person back to life. What? To the constellations. It's where all the deceased people go. If you pay a price, you'll be able to bring a person back to life. Uh huh? To the constellations. It's where. I heard you the first time. But you said what? You didn't understand me? What's going on? Who are these people? There's no such thing. The constellations can't be real. If I die, I hope I become a star. So you should come along. I... No. I can't. Huh? Why not? Don't you want to bring them back? I can't. Just... Leave just like that. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone about you guys. Nobody would believe me anyway. Lee... We met in kindergarten. I remember hating him because he would always borrow my crayons. At first I didn't mind, but he would ask to use them almost every day. It was so annoying. But then we became friends after he drew a picture for me with my crayons. One time he accidentally hit my face with a hockey stick and I cried. He cried too because he felt really bad. I need to stop thinking about him or else I'm going to cry again. What? Don't tell me those aliens. Ah! Are, are you alright? What are you guys doing? You dropped this. Oh, oh. We just wanted to give you it back to you before we took off. Didn't have to abduct me for that. Or that normal in your planet? Haha, <laughs> no. Spaceships don't exist on Pluto. Pluto? That's not a planet anymore. So the people of Earth don't consider Pluto a planet either. Pluto is the best planet like planet to ever be. You can't be from Pluto. Right now, we're in universe CO8, where Earth is the third planet from the Sun. In Rise Universe 115, Pluto is the third planet from the Sun and also able to support life like this one. But it seems like in every universe, only one of the eight, er, nine planets in the solar system are able to support human life. That's right! Don't forget Pluto! So you're just... You're just humans from different universes? But right, aliens aren't real. Hmm, I don't know. All you guys are definitely aliens in my book. Well, now that's taken care of, shouldn't we be get going? Right, we can drop you off, Judo. Wait, wait! I guess I want to come along too. I mean, can I? Of course! But, but are you really sure? So my friend will really be at the constellations? But what if he isn't? That's a risk we're all taking. We just gotta hope for the best, right? What kind of price do we have to pay? Huh? You said so earlier, we have to pay a price to bring a person back. Oh, I was kind of wondering about that too. I actually don't know, sorry. Really? W wait, but what if the price is something impossible? L like our eyesight, or our arms, or, or our own lives? I think that sounds about right. What? I mean, what else could the price of something so great be? For once, I agree, I guess. 
We need to take off soon. So are you sure you want to come along? What am I doing? I can't go. Lee, I can't give up this opportunity. Yeah, I'll go with you guys. I'll let myself regret this later.